Hi, welcome to The Harvest is Ready. Today we're going to revisit Virtual Cables for Linux, version 2. So welcome! Welcome back to The Harvest is Ready. I hope you all are being empowered by God. Well, today I've got some exciting news. I've got some updates to the scripts for virtual cables for Linux, um, partly due to one of our my one of the comments that I got about they were reporting some crackling when they were using it in um, Fedora 40, and I think it may be down to the fact that um, Fedora now uses Parkwire by default. Now, Parkwire is a drop-in replacement for Pulse Audio, but there is some slight differences between the way that you set up certain devices. But most of all, my, more or less it works the same so the good thing about that is that all the tools that you were introduced to to yourselves in the last video are still the same um, but the way that we link the devices is a bit different so as you know in the last video what what the script does is create a virtual microphone and a virtual speaker and then you can use the monitor output of OBS to the virtual speaker and then that gets routed to the virtual microphone and additionally it sets up a loopback so that you can hear what's still been saying as a monitor in OBS thus completing the whole thing so if you're using Pulse Audio if that's all that's installed in your particular distribution you can just use the Pulse Audio script if otherwise this tutorial will go through the pipe wire installation so let's get to it okay so let's go over to First of all, let us go to uh, my GitHub page, which now has all the scripts on there. This is where I'm going to be updating it accordingly. And you can find it here at http github.com stephen3363 slash virtual cables linux. Okay, so let's have a look at it here. So you can see you can see here I've got the page up here right now and you can see it's got two files Pipewire and Pulse, Pulse Audio um, so depending on the particular system that you're using you're going to choose whichever script so let's look at the Pipewire um, script first so it gives you some instructions in there what you need to do um, so basically it's going to set up a virtual microphone and it's going to and a, and a monitor device and remap them so that they come together so they'll um, create a new microphone and, and create a, a loopback as well so you can actually hear it accordingly so what you need to do to make sure is that you probably know this already but you need a couple of tools that because with Fedora 40 and anyway it doesn't come with all the Pulse, Pulse Audio utilities so you need to here run this command here to actually install the necessary commands if you need to so let's just quickly do that now Okay, so I'm just going to open a ter terminal. And I'm going to run the script, which is just um, basically end. So DNF install, PAVU control, which is the vol Pulse Audio volume control and Pulse Audio Utilities. These ones are the tools that you need to make sure they're installed so the script will actually run. So I'll put them in a secret source. Okay, in my case, both of those utilities are installed. Now, we are now ready to download the package accordingly. Okay, so we go back to the main page and we're going to download the zip file here. Okay. Okay. We then are going to open up the, the folder and we're going to extract it. And I'm just going to, you know, it's good there. You, but you can move that, you can move this folder to anywhere that you like. So in here, you've got the files that you need. So whatever system that you're running, whether it's Pipewire or Pulse Audio, you'll run that script accordingly. The basic procedures from here on will be basically the same. 
um, or are actually the same. It just depends which script, which system you're running, whether you're running Pipewire or, or Solio. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to go into the properties and set the program as executable. Okay, so there we go. Now what you can do is we can open this in terminal so you can see what's actually going on. Okay, and we're going to copy this file and we're going to paste as file names and run that script. This will set up the necessary things accordingly to create our virtual cables. So let's have a look. What do we have here? So here, it's one important thing that I didn't mention. Make sure that nothing is running at that time. So it's best to do it when you've done, just done after and clean score. Make sure OBS is not is not running. Make sure that um, no programs that are using the microphones are running because um, for some reason Pipewire doesn't like those things running. In particular, OBS doesn't like it. It just will not install the virtual um, devices properly. So anyway, here we go. So we've got a virtual speaker with its ID, virtual mic with its ID. Uh, it says it's linking together. There's no errors, so we're all good. And then the loopback device has been created as well. Now what it's going to do is gonna, it's going to set it, that loop it up to your default speaker. So we need to make some changes here. Okay, so we need to make sure that, for example, that we're not going to get deafened or anything like that. So you may want to reroute it to another device so you don't get blasted um, because you'll get immense feedback. So for that... I'm going to plug in a, another USB, another USB card uh, so that I can, I can route the audio to another headset so I'm not going to get blasted with that loopback. So to do that, what I need to do is open volume control. There we go. Okay. And what we need to do is at the moment the playback is going to the built-in of the HDMI actually. So that's actually quite nice. Um, but I'm going to change it to um, the Unitech, the USB adapter that I just put into it. So now that will, you know, that won't affect your internal settings and that you've got over here. Um, that's still got the default setting there, but it will mean that you can put into a, head, a headphone and stuff and listen to the um, listen to the virtual speaker accordingly. So that's that done. So this is where you change that for the loopback. Okay, now we've got to set up OBS. So we we're going to open up OBS. Okay. okay, and we're going to go to our settings. And we're going to go into audio. And under advanced monitoring device. And we're going to select virtual speaker okay you can select the low latency mode and that may help in some circumstances with zoom or jitsi accordingly so we're going to apply that and go okay now um, let me let me just add a audio device in here so audio input capture i'm going to add a new one okay and that's better nice little noise gate there so okay so we've we've got sound coming into OBS. We also need to go to the advanced view so we can enable the monitor. And so we've got here, monitor is off. So we want to say monitor and output. You can select that if you've had a problem with the video sync, you can sync the sync off it set here. So um, the only other thing is that the one caveat, if you've got desktop audio enabled, you may want to not output that output because otherwise um, it can cause some interference there as well. Okay. So now we've got that done, everything should be working. So let's give that a test. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some sound recording. So I'm going to see sound recorder. Okay. I'm going to change the default microphone to now the virtual microphone, which you can see there on the list. And I'm going to do a quick test. Okay. So here. Testing, one, two, three. Okay. Let me change, change the speaker. Two. 
Nine. Yeah, my microphone's not too good, but you can see that it's working. One, two, three. Okay, so there we have it. So virtual cables for Linux has now been um, now works quite nicely for pipe wire as well as pulse audio. So give it a shot. Tell me your experience, and if I've got if you've got any problems, please drop them down in the comments, and or tell me how you've been using it, you know, and see if you see if you do use it, and I'll much appreciate those comments. So till next time, please like, comment, and subscribe.